What up, YouTube? With the holidays upon us, I had to pull these out the back of my closet. My 10-year-old pair of Nike N7 Air Force One Premium LE Native Americans in the brown turquoise colorway. I'll show you all around this sneaker, talk about the important meaning behind N7, show you some shots on foot, and explain why this sneaker is so dope and the perfect pair of Thanksgiving kicks. But before I do, I ask that you throw me a thumbs up if you're feeling the content, and subscribe to stay up to date on my latest videos. Okay, let's get started. As I mentioned, these are called the Air Force One N7 Premium LE 08 Native Americans. I believe the LE stands for limited edition, but despite the name, I don't think anyone was super hyped for these when they dropped in 2011 because I picked up my pair on sale at my local Nike outlet. Either way, they caught my eye and I thought they were an interesting pair of kicks. I still do, and I always pull these out around the holidays, specifically on Thanksgiving. It just feels right. They are a premium feeling shoe and they are clearly designed with the Native American theme. That leads me to the two other characters in the name, N7. From what I know, N7 is an initiative created by Nike and a guy named Sam McCracken. Their goal is to stimulate growth and development within Native American communities and honor indigenous culture, craft, and traditions. Nike has released a bunch of N7 sneakers and merchandise over the years. I'll show you a few different pairs now. As you can see, some of these are subjective, but some are straight fire, like these tan women's Air Force One mids. Anyway, over time, this has evolved into a charity called the N7 Fund, which Nike has reported that they managed to raise over $8 million in grants for more than 270 Native American communities and organizations. That's pretty cool, and I'm happy I was able to support that movement. Now let's take a look around the sneaker. Starting with the uppers, they are mostly made of premium brown leather and partially painted suede. This leather feels vintage. It's shiny, soft, and distressed in certain areas. It almost feels like they cut these directly from an old leather bomber jacket. As you look around, you'll notice a lot of arrows and triangle patterns all around this shoe. After a little research, it makes sense to me. From what I learned, arrows in Native American culture represent protection, and triangles symbolize a teepee or a home of the family. I like that. These have black wax laces with turquoise aglets. They also came with a second pair of white laces with the same color aglets, but it's been over 10 years since I bought these and I have no idea where those went. Working your way down the laces, you have a brown leather lace lock with what I believe is N7 embroidered in a circle. To me, it looks more like a D7 or M7, but it's kind of hard to tell. Moving further down, you will see brown leather debris with five different colored triangles embroidered into them. I could be wrong, but I believe each color has a meaning. From what I read, the blue color stands for wisdom and confidence. The yellow stands for intellect and determination. The red stands for faith, beauty, and happiness, or blood, violence, and energy, depending on who you ask. The black triangle stands for strength and victory, and the white stands for sharing, purity, and light. Not only do I respect the symbolism, but from an aesthetic perspective, I also like the way it looks. And these colors pop really nice off that brown. Moving your way to the side of the sneaker, you have this moccasin style stitch black suede Nike swoosh on both sides. I like this oversized hand stitch look they used. It creates a cool effect that's different from other pairs of Air Force Ones. The ankle collar and sock liner is straight black leather with a premium feel. The removable insole continues the theme of triangles and arrows in a black and turquoise pattern. The tongue is your standard brown nylon tongue with black piping but the pull tab uses that same brown leather as the uppers with the Nike Air Force One logo embroidered in brown. If you look closely at the words Air Force One on this tongue, it almost looks hand-stitched. It's a pretty cool touch. Around the back, you'll find a brown leather heel tab with more brown embroidery. Below that, you have a turquoise spine with a red zigzag line. After more digging, I believe this zigzag line, or specifically the letter Z, indicates the path of the sole. Moving further down the shoe, you have a sail-colored midsole held together with this bright red stitching. It's a nice contrast. This sail midsole was much lighter when they were new, but oxidation and time have made them more yellow over the past 10 years. Personally, I like the look, so I made no attempt to lighten them. This is one of the few pairs of Air Force Ones I own where I prefer a yellow midsole. The entire outsole is completely turquoise with little specks of black and white. I think it balances well with the other hits of turquoise around the sneaker. One of my favorite things about this pair is the matching bracelet they came with. Check it out. It's a drawstring style bracelet that's basically a larger version of the Dubrays containing the same five embroidered triangles. I'm not usually a bracelet person, but this is a fly touch and in my opinion, it adds a little extra flavor to the fit. Also, if you're creative, you could probably find a way to attach this bracelet to the shoe or laces for a unique look. I like this sneaker and I have a lot of respect for the indigenous people of this country. I've always admired their culture, strength, and perspective on life. Unfortunately, they don't get nearly enough credit for what they have sacrificed, contributed, and continue to contribute to the U.S. and our culture. I hope Nike continues to work with our Native American communities and continues to bring their unique flavor to mainstream fashion. 
In conclusion, these are one of my favorite pairs of kicks, and I always look forward to pulling these out around the holidays. As I showed you, Nike N7 has a bunch of different kicks, but if you're looking for this specific pair, I see a few selling on GOAT and eBay right now for around $300. Relatively speaking, it is a lot of money, but if you want a chill pair of very underrated kicks that are interesting, tell a cool story, and support our Native American brothers and sisters, these are a solid pickup. I'll put a link below for more info on the Nike N7 fund if you want to learn more. And I'll also add a link containing six worthy Native American and indigenous charities you could support and donate to. That's my video on the Air Force One Native Americans. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe and ring that notification bell to be notified for my next video. I would appreciate it and it would definitely help the channel. Also, feel free to check me out on Instagram at E21Life for other random pics and content. Here's a few more shots. I really appreciate y'all watching. Happy Thanksgiving to all. And until next time, stay safe, everyone. Peace.